Do you know what's happening Saturday in South Bend? Cincinnati is a two and a half point favorite. That's what's happening on the road at Notre Dame. The over under is 50 and a half for what it's worth, but take a look at Cincinnati's. Cincinnati's opportunity is probably the biggest one here that I've seen them have. I know they've played in bigger postseason games. To me, this is the biggest game I remember Cincinnati having. And some people are still holding out on that whole G5 myth. And the myth is, of course, that a G5 team can't make the playoff, which has never been true. They never have made the playoff because no G5 team has deserved to make the playoff. That is my opinion. That is, well, it's also been the opinion of the committee. There are people who are falsely equating the past to meaning that it doesn't matter if Cincinnati goes undefeated. They're not making it. You're insane. You're just wrong. If Cincinnati wins out, they're going to be in the playoff. If you don't think opinions have changed out there, would you please look at the bottom of the screen? Which team is favored in South Bend? It's not the Irish. It's not the undefeated Irish. There's been no G5 team in the past that had this kind of reputation. There's been no G5 team in the past that at the starting line had this much wind behind its sails. Cincinnati's going to the playoff if they're undefeated. Now, to be undefeated, this is the biggest challenge remaining on the schedule. They got to go into Notre Dame and they got to win. So Notre Dame, you look at them, you've probably watched them play a few times. Are they buying time or are they on borrowed time? Is kind of the two classifications I think they could fall into. If they're, if they're buying time, then they're barely getting by until finally they hit a gear and that offensive line gets its act together and all of a sudden they can take advantage of the weapons out wide and they can feature a couple of future Sunday running backs, like all that stuff along with Jack Cohn and his potential, which is better than the quarterbacks they've had there. All that kind of finds its groove and, okay, remember those ugly wins? We didn't appreciate them at the time, but glad we got them because now we're clicking. They could be doing that or they could be living on borrowed time. And what that would be is, well, they've been winning ugly, against Purdue and Toledo almost beat them and Florida State almost beat them, took them to overtime, and then they eventually hit a wall. And that's that. So which are they? I don't know. I can tell you right now, if one thing I could change in this sport would be Notre Dame's offensive line being very good as opposed to what they've been, that would change a lot about this team. So I can't do that. I don't have that magic wand. But what I am excited about is there's a positive for Notre Dame here. I know I sound kind of negative, but it's been reality. I'm not saying anything Notre Dame fans aren't saying over on irishillustrated.com, for example. But there's a positive here, and that is Desmond Ritter, the quarterback of Cincinnati, and the Cincinnati offense, they can be turnover prone. I think they played, who was it? They played uh, Murray State, sacked them twice. They had some turnovers against Indiana. I think they gave it away three times. Problem is, so did Indiana. They can be that. And this is by far the most disruptive front that Indiana will have faced all year. But the good news on the flip side for Indiana is Notre Dame hasn't faced an RPO threat defensively like Desmond Ritter and this offense will pose to them. So at the very least, what you hope to do is you hope to neutralize some of those edges Notre Dame has defensively by presenting some edges of your own. The matchup to watch, though, I don't go there. The matchup to watch for me is out wide. Cincinnati's defensive backs, they love press coverage. Oh, they love it. And it's given Notre Dame some trouble. And Notre Dame already this season has had some trouble getting off press. And Notre Dame hasn't handled it all that well, which stands to reason, you know, especially with a week to prepare, two weeks to prepare. I mean, Cincinnati's going to go right at that. And combining that with what you hope is an offensive line that you can take advantage of could really make this ugly for Notre Dame in trying to sustain drives. That doesn't mean you couldn't pop a big play every now and then, but you want sustained drives. And that's what Notre Dame hasn't been able to do nearly enough. But I will tell you this, in talking to a couple of folks around the Notre Dame program, they believe their offensive line is not quite the disaster that some people believe it is, and they also think it's getting better. They also think they could have a little more success running the ball Saturday than, let's say, the average projection would have them uh, putting on the board. So they think they're ready for this moment. Notre Dame does. Cincinnati absolutely thinks they're ready for this moment. So what I want to do, Jesse, let's go ahead and show the model and let's take a look at what we think and what the Vegas number is. So I showed you, you see it on the bottom of the screen, Cincinnati currently favored by two and a half. Model loves Cincinnati, loves them. And I love them even more than that. I will take Cincinnati to cover. I will take Cincinnati to win. I think they're going to win by seven or more Saturday. And I think it is a moment they're ready for environment is something that is against them. 
I think what they showed when they went into Indiana is underrated. They went into Indiana. They did not play the best game. They ended up pulling away. I think people underestimate the shot they took from Indiana. Indiana was wounded animal back against the wall at home, season on the line. Like They got Indiana's fastball. For whatever that's worth, they got it, and they dealt with it on the road. Place was, I think, sold out, and so it was a big game atmosphere. They'll ratchet it up a notch at Notre Dame, obviously. I don't think if Cincinnati loses Saturday, it's going to be because the moment was too big. I think it'll be because Notre Dame was too good, but I don't think that's the outcome. I'm taking Luke Fickle to get the biggest win of his career, and I think Cincinnati's going to win the game, and I think they're going to cover in the process. 